Connor, just can you give me your sense of kind of where, where the group is at? Once again, my teammates come up short. I mean, what's next for him to do? Play goal? <laughs> and honestly, he's going to have to play goal, play defense. It's, I mean, but the, the next, there is the next move he can do. He's going to request a trade, guys. It's coming. Uh, welcome to Honest Press Conferences, where we say what all those executives, coaches, or players would love to say out loud. So we're going to start with someone whose team has really been jerked around. He's our first three-time participant, <laughs> and it's Mr. Anthony Loraco as Big Lou. Oh, God. Hi, Mark. Um, thanks for actually calling me this time and, you know, having the having the balls to actually speak to me without, you know, sound like a starter, you're an idiot, and then hang up. But um, I'm glad uh, I'm glad to be here on the show. Um, you know, my team, you know, there's no doubt that uh, the schedule hasn't been kind to us. Um, between the 13 game road trip and then the amount of days off we've had, postponements with COVID, um, and now this latest halt with our trip to Western Canada, as well as the game against Seattle being canceled due to Canadian protocols. Um, but you know, we're we're at a time where we feel good about ourselves. We're getting healthier. Um, a lot of guys came off COVID protocol. You know, Ryan Pollock has has resumed skating, uh, so hopefully he'll be joining us uh, soon. Um, and we're going to be, you know, totally healthy um, for the first time since really the beginning of the year, uh, you know, a couple games after we come back and start playing again. Um, but we got to take it one day out of a time. I know we've um, we haven't met expectations. A lot of uh, members, you guys in the media, have, you know, predicted our club to, you know, reach the, the static of finals again. Um, I believe strongly in Barry, my coaching staff and my players that we at Kelly can still do that. Um, you know, it's just a matter of stringing together a bunch of wins. You know, I've liked our play in the month of December um, in the last couple of games before, um, you know, our, our recent pause here. Uh, and, you know, I'm Big Lou. Um, despite where we are in the standings, uh, I know where our deficiencies are. I'm going to be looking to add to this team because I, I still think uh, we can make the playoffs and do some damage. Uh, but I'm also not going to sacrifice the future to do that. Um, cause you always have to keep in mind an eye on the future to be successful on this team in this league for a long period of time. So, um, yeah, I would, I wish I was, you know, a different place in the standings right now. Um, but I, I think we have a good hockey club, a lot of veterans that, that know how to win and know what have to, know what they have to do to get out of the hole that we dug ourselves earlier in the year. But, um, I'll take some questions from you guys right now. Lou, um, with everything that's going on and having the cancellation of this latest Canadian trip, how does that affect the team going forward? And how hard is it really to, to build up a winning streak and, and get some momentum, especially after the December that your team had? Well, it's it's no question it affects our ability to, to keep that momentum sustained that we had going. Like you mentioned, our December record, um, we, I felt good about our club. Uh, we were 4-2-4. Four, four. It showed progress um, from what we played like in November. Um, I liked how we looked the last two games where we pulled out some wins. Um, like I said, we're getting healthier. Um, but, yeah, there's no doubt this pause kind of hurts that momentum that we started to get. But, again, we have a veteran group. Um, they're working hard in practice. Uh, you know, Lane Lambert is filling in for Barry right now, but he's working them hard. Um, but the players are still loose out there. You know, they're having fun. Um, and the younger guys, the younger guys kind of just are learning from the veterans. Uh, I know for them it's probably a little harder to have this break of, of not playing any games, but um, they're dedicated. And we have guys like Zidane Chara, um, you know, Zach Parise, who can really, you know, kind of lean on them right now during this tough time. Um, but, yep. Oh. <laughs> um, sorry, I think uh, – I think some of my some of my hitmen set off an alarm here in the house, but uh, actually, I think they were heading to Mark's house in about an hour from now. Um, but you know, again, it's all about controlling what we can control, and uh, hopefully, once we start playing again, we could continue our play that we had the last couple of weeks. Lou, I know you're excited to to hear from me right now, but uh, what do you think about those young players and how they've been performing in the lineup for you? Mark, first, before I answer that question, how did you even get my telephone number? Uh, I was, I was, I got it from a producer friend of mine 
who told me it was Marty St. Louis. So, <laughs> oh, oh, hmm. okay. My mistake, well, Lou. My mistake. <laughs> yeah, don't let it happen again. Um, can yes, you ask, yes, sir. Can, can you ask the question again? Uh, yeah. How about the young players? And how do you, or which of the young players are you excited about? Oh, I, um, I love, I love the game of, of Noah Dobson. Uh, we were patient with Noah. Uh, we had a plan in place with him from the, from the moment we drafted him. Um, we have high hopes for him and we think that he's going to achieve, uh, big things in this league. Um, bringing in Zidane Char was, was one of the things I had in mind when, you know, I saw what Zidane did for Charlie McAvoy in Boston. They stapled him to with, with Big Z for a while, learned the ropes. Um, and I saw how he can do something similar for Noah Dobson here on Long Island. Uh, and Dobson has flourished. Uh, part of that's due to his God-given talent, but also from learning from a veteran like Zidane, who's been around and seen a lot. Um, you know, Z- Oliver Wallstrom, uh, Barry Trotz has, has brought his game along. I know, Sometimes, you know, he, he still has some deficiencies that Bowery would like to see get cleaned up, but there's no doubting his ability to shoot the puck. Um, you know, I, I would say he's he's one of our best pure shooters on the team. Uh, and this is a guy that I think that, you know, we can eventually play on the top line and, you know, score 30 goals in this league. He has the release to do it. Um, Kiefer Bellows, um, you know, I know some may have thought he's been lost in the shuffle the last couple of years. Uh, but, you know, added with his time on ice and his growing confidence, uh, I like what I see from him. Um, you know, we have guys throughout the lineup. Uh, I've, I've liked what I've seen some from Sebastian Ajo in his short time, his skating ability. Um, so, you know, we, we're confident in our young guys going forward this year uh, and in the future. We have a young core of players, and I, I look to hopefully add to that in the next couple of drafts. Uh, because I, I, I'm a big believer that building through and developing your own talent is crucial in winning in this league. But um, I'm also not afraid to, you know, make a trade uh, to bring in some talent from the outside. But um, overall, believe it or not, I, I do feel good about our hockey club. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm just hoping that we can get on a run here and get back into a playoff positioning. Um, and Mark, um, remember, again, I can't say it enough. Please do not call me randomly ever again. Um, as you know, I, I have I have a lot of things going on, and I can't having nobody's call me, you know, at three o'clock in the afternoon and kind of sound like um, Daffy Duck with the stuttering, uh, you know, just be just be a man, and, you know, say who you are, and uh, you know, our, our first conversation would have gone over a lot better. But um, I'm always I'm always happy to come on this show and talk to you guys. All right, Lou, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, Lou Amarillo, everybody. And uh, a guy that made a lot of headlines this week, Mika Zabanejad, and his his task falls to me. Just going to activate this. All right. Hey, I don't know if you guys heard, but Artemi wasn't exactly feeling that great, pretty much since the Arizona game. So uh, we took a timeout, and Gerard walked up to me and said, yo, can you step up for us? And I said, don't worry. I got this. I'm going Super Saiyan. This is a Super Saiyan. I did. Come here, come here, come here! So, I don't know if I said that right, but whatever. I'm <laughs> Swedish and nine other thousand things. Oh, man, I'm DJ Z bad. That's what I do. And that's why I wear this shirt that's going to be available on BigAppleHockeyStore.com <laughs> once it's ready. So, it's just... That's what I had to do. Now I'm scoring goals. Now I got a lot of confidence. And all I have to say for Tampa is, you're lucky I didn't score five. Motherfuckers. So anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm ready to take questions already. I don't need to make any more long-winded statements because I'm pretty sure the guy after me is going to be saying a lot of stuff. So, Mika, uh, with everything that's going on with your uh, recent resurgence and uh, your improved play, uh, do you think that you've finally taken back that uh, that far bo- uh, near board spot up high from Artemi Panarin? You know, <clears throat> look, as one thing I know I could do is clap bombs from that spot at any point. By the way, clapping bombs is a segment that's on Big Apple Hockey, hosted by the man down below. But I got to say, as much as I can bomb that shot, I'm going to be okay going back to the middle, going back to the bumper. People forget something. I had a 42-goal season in that spot. 
or Timmy's an MVP guy. Look, I'll do whatever the team wants me to do because I'm DJ Z bad. And that is my DJ name. Do you got a question for me? Isles boy. Uh, yes. Uh, Mika, um, as you know, uh, you are not going to play in the Olympics, nor is any other NHL player. Just as someone who is going to be a core piece of that Swedish team, um, how disappointed are you that uh, you are not going to the Olympics to represent your country? It is actually very disappointing because, after all, I was able to score a golden goal back when I was in uh, junior hockey for Sweden. Down from the Swedish bench. And I, I was really looking forward to trying to bring home a gold medal for the team from the Olympics. But, you know, the goal is to go win the Stanley Cup, and that's, that's what it's going to be. And I, as soon as we win a Stanley Cup and bring it down to Madison Square Garden, I know I'll never have to buy a drink in New York City ever again. And they can be pretty expensive. So that's, that's what I do know about that. Just ask Mark Messier. Which one would you rather do? All right. Guys, thank you very much. It was quick, but it was good. And you know what? Just like me, bombing out. Thanks, Mika. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know how to conclude that a little part. So I needed to take away the mark as Mika's advantage ad. But uh, before I, I got back to me, end scene, if you will. All right. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hmm, your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.